walk around the church once again around Holy Innocence Church here in St. Thomas once again showing you guys the sights and scenes around sights and sounds around Holy Innocence Church So this is the school building with the mural graphic on it that was done by Miss June Connell in 2005. So this known this road, this road is known as Ashford Law Road. A Y S H F O R D is how it's spelled at this Ashford. And this is Holy Innocence Church here. To the cemetery and show you guys how the church is like. Walk to the churchyard. So again, we are in close part the cemetery to Harrison's Cave and Welchman Hall Gully. And again, Harrison's Cave runs all under here. That is why it is said that when service is going on at the church, the organ from the church vibrates into the cave. Harrison's Cave is just up the road from here. The Harrison's Cave can also be referred to as a natural heritage site. And it was founded by Danish speleologists. Ole Sorensen and Barbadian Tony Mason and together they dug their way through the church swimming through many narrow holes and swimming through um, several tunnels along with the floor of the boys who was also in this area and Pete Carrington and others who were the first staff in the cave and were also from this area most of them and the Swim through the cave, and then that was all in the 70s. And then on the 25th or 28th of November 1982, the cave was opened to the public as a tourist attraction for the Prime Minister of the day, Tom Adams, who was also the parliamentary representative for St. Thomas. And he opened the cave, and the cave was running by the government until the 9th of July 2021 when the government leased it to Chaka or the solid or leased it to Chaka from Jamaica now they are the new owners of the cave and the cave has many features added to it now with swimming pool and have a rum factory where you can watch how they manufacture the rum and so on um, Harrison's cave and Harrison's cave was all under here as I said before. So this is Ashford Long Road here again in St. Thomas. And this is the school building here with the mural graphic on it that was done by Miss June Connell in 2005. This is where most of my family from my mother's side received their primary education under Mr. Lester Vaughan, the guy who wrote the National Pledge of Barbados. This is him here on the uh, mural here. And you can see the school students on the bottom. And you can see the windmill for Welch Sturgis Plantation in St. Thomas, the village in St. Thomas, and the top band. So most things featured on this mur mural here is to do with St. Thomas. So this is Holy Innocence Anglican Church, Episcopal Church. So the school building again. The building was refurbished and so on. Because the original, first of all this was the boys school. The, boy, the boys school was there first and the girls school was further up. 
where well, our mom missed it. The girls' school was here, and the boys' school was up opposite the church. So Holy Innocence was a refuge during Hurricane Janet, which took the Caribbean, most of the Caribbean, in 1955. Hurricane Janet struck most of the Caribbean, destroying some houses and buildings. In 1955, September 1955, and Holy Innocent was a refuge. Then, this is some blossom awesome tombs here. The Smith tomb. So this is the final resting place of most of my ancestors, which have been from my mother's side, my great grandparents. My great uncles, my great aunts, one of my aunts and cousins. This is the bell free now, where the bell is. This is the school building here again. Now the churchyard. This is where the rope for the bell is. The bell used to be in here on the tower here before, but they took it out in 1990 or somewhere about and placed it here. You can see the bell up in here. As you can see the bell. My great uncle, Garmon Levine, was the bell ringer here years ago. And I had another great uncle named Uncle Percy, who was also the lay preacher here at Holy Innocence years ago. So they don't bury people in this cemetery anymore, they bury them on the opposite side of the road now. And this is the vicarage where the priests used to live. The pipe here in the churchyard, the vicarage where the priests used to live. The last priest that lived here was Reverend Light. Since then, the other priest that meant that ministered at this church live in their own homes. This is Holy Innocence Church here, which dates back to 1838 and dedicated in 1839. Built on lands given by the owners of Astral Plantation. Another tomb here, another, another plaque. So this church was built on lands given by the owners of Astral Plantation. And it was one of the Bishop Coleridge Chapels of East. This is the cave tomb here. The caves are from this area. The caves live somewhere up above the church. The caves are a popular family in Richmond Hall area. It's in Thomas, this area. So this is the entrance to the church. The Whittington doll also are buried here. So Holy Innocence Anglican Church, Anglican Episcopalian. The boys school used to be here. And this is the cricket pavilion. And this is the road through here that will take you back to the avenues of Rexham Hall, which is also referred to as the line that will take you back to Bayern's Road in Rexham Hall. This is Holy Innocence Church in the heart of Barbados, right here in the parish of St. Thomas.
Olympics. So all Holy Innocence Church and school area is situated along Ashford in St. Thomas. Which is you wrote to Harrison Cave and uh, Rex Mahogany. So Rex Mahogany is another collapsed cave, which is just on the opposite side of Harrison Cave. Thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening. Before I go any further, I will cross the road and take you guys to the other cemetery. Which is just across from the church. So this is on the opposite side of the church now. So I could just show you on the opposite side of the road by the church. This is the cemetery now where most of the people are buried. Since the one in the churchyard is filled. Thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening.